Hello book lovers and welcome back to Bookster's 3 to Read. I'm Saoirse and in case you're new here, first of all welcome, I have the honour of bringing you three exciting new recommendations every week under three categories. We have the New York Times list frequently favourites, the hot pick, the fun and colourful coffee shop reads and of course the dark horse books that we think deserve a whole lot more attention. So sit back, relax and let's get into it. This week's hot pick is The Art of Dumpster Diving by Jennifer Ann Moses. The Art of Dumpster Diving is a tragic, fun and contemporary read. The novel follows two brothers, James and Gabriel, who live with their mother, sister and grandmother. When their grandma dies, their sister runs away, leaving their mother to take care of the family. Tragically though, James finds her dead one morning. Now, James and Gabriel fear being torn apart by the foster care system. They come up with a harebrained scheme to stay together no matter what that means they must do. The novel is a refreshing read about the bonds of brotherhood and finding families in the strangest of ways. Our coffee shop read for this week is The Burning by Laura Bates. Anna and her mother have been on the move, trying to avoid Anna's past as best they can. But now, in their new life, when the rumours start back up again, Anna finds herself drawn to the story of Maggie, a local woman in the 17th century who was accused of witchcraft. Silenced and shamed, Anna finds that she has much in common with Maggie and finds in her an escape from her own reality. Bates is an internationally renowned feminist and her novel has been hailed as a call to arms about the implications of sexism and the part that we all have in it. In the era of Me Too, this could not be more prevalent. This week's Dark Horse is Hitler, My Neighbour by Edgar Flickfanger. Edgar came from a prominent German Jewish family and was a carefree five-year-old when Adolf Hitler, the leader of the Nazi party, moved into the building opposite theirs in Munich. In 1933, his entire life changed. Suddenly, his classmates were drawing swastikas and joining Hitler's youth, his parents were stripped of their rights as citizens, and his father was eventually sent to a camp in Dachau. In 1939, Edgar was sent to England to start a new life alone. Now, at the age of 88, in this memoir, Edgar finally faces up to his own history and his former proximity to Hitler himself. And that's that, our three to read for this week. If you do get the chance to get your hands on any of the books, please do let us know. And in the meantime, like, comment, share, and of course, wash your hands. We will see you again next week. And thank you 